How's it going everybody? Adi in here once again and today I'm bringing you the Naya Ruins list. Now there's lots of variations of this going round on the meta, but I think this is the best one. I think. We'll see, we'll see. Before we jump into that deck tech, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and catch me on Twitch.tv five days a week on the link down below. Hope you guys are doing well. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've tried this list or if it's a variation that you've tried that you think is better because I would love to hear back from you. Let's check out that deck. So we've opted to go for the Naya build, plus a little bit of uh, blue here, you know. So what the benefit of this list is, is to build on cheap facilitators. And what I mean by that is we start off with the Generous Visitor. The Generous Visitor means whenever you play an enchantment, you get to put a counter on a target creature you control. Not this creature, well, you can be this creature, but it doesn't have to be this creature. In an ideal world, you get this down on turn one and follow it up with a UK Naturalist on turn two. When you play this, it puts a counter on the Generous Visitor and it says that enchantment spells that you cast cost one less to cast and it has lifelink. So this works really well in the late game. Now, what you want to be doing here is building on this with some really cheap enchantments. And we've decided to go for the rune package. We've got a Runeforge champion here, which means that they get even cheaper and you get to search your library or graveyard for them. So it kind of gives you a head start. And whenever one of these runes enters the battlefield, either gives you flight, gives you haste, gives you plus plus uh, one and trample, you get to draw another card. So you can get into a really powerful cycle. There's also lifelink up here for the rune of sustenance. So yeah, really powerful cycle. We facilitate getting these runes with the light pause, the emperor's voice. When you play an aura on a creature you control, you get to search your library for an aura to put onto this. So you can get a couple of hastes straight away. And yeah, we're having flights, we're having counters on things. We've got some cheat removal, we've got some protection. We've even got a couple of the sagas. This one gives plus one, plus one, so it allows you to smash in for a large amount. And this one allows you to almost ramp. So you get a planes, you can chuck a land into the graveyard and get the land back so it ramps you, or you can get one of your cheaper spells back, such as the Naturalist, such as the Visitor. We've also got a Kami of Transients again. This um, gets a plus one, plus one counter for every time you play an enchantment, and it's got a little bit of recursion as well. Some more protection and removal in terms of the Valorous Stance. And this is where it gets interesting. We've also got a Touch of the Spirit Realm again. Um, it can be instant speed or sorcery speed removal. We've got four showdown of the Scowls, which is excellent just to churn through your deck, get more and more cards, facilitate more card draw. A Wandering Emperor, just as a, a slight removal spell, but also a Planeswalker, which is very difficult for your opponents to deal with, as well as a Hallowed Haunting. Now, the Hallowed Haunting, we're only playing a one of. As you'll see in the final game, our opponents come out with a two of, and it makes the game a little bit interesting. Whenever you play an enchantment, you create a creature that's got flying and vigilance. It's a spirit, and its power and toughness are equal to how many spirits you control. Please bear in mind that the Generous Visitor is a spirit. And when this flips, it creates the Fox Monk, that when you attack or block, it also creates a spirit. So there's lots of little interactions in there. And we've got a couple of the man lands as well. Well, not the man lands, really, the channel lands, the ones that make the one ones, the ones that destroy the artifacts and enchantments, ideal for the mirror, the layer of the Hydra, which is a man land, and the uh, seat of the empire, which gives that four damage. In the sideboard, we want to kind of tech against the mirror match, which is really our only difficult match. We've got two rip aparts, a borrowed time, another valorous stance, and a safekeeping, two safekeeping actually we also have the sacred fire which kind of gains us a little bit of life in the early game a redain against any snow decks or residual kind of really powerful um uh, is it decks perhaps a couple of the wedding announcements which is nice just to churn out creatures it also adds to your uh, card draw and your enchantment count Felidar's retreat for the same um for the same idea really if we are coming up against the mono white list where we care about how many creatures we have on the battlefield a second wandering emperor and a yoshan for any of those blacklists that we face we're going to be sacrificing either their treasures or using the anvil or even using the kind of uh, mystical dispute mystical dispute is that the card what's the dispute the, the black dispute whichever that one is that one so yeah really happy with this list uh excited to show you what it's like on the ladder so fingers crossed and uh, wish me luck in those games okay so game one we're against wolfram 201, we sit at a 486 to start off with. Let's see how far we can push it. Play first. And what do we have here? I mean, we're on the play, and this just screams excellent with this, right? I think we keep. 
Having the cami of transients is an interesting one. Mmm, 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 mmm. Gotta go white here. But then we decide whether it's green or red. What do we think? Uh, uh, uh. Ah, so it's definitely green. Because we get this. And I wonder whether it's worth... Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on this. I kind of like this. I kind of like this. If, if, if Oppo is mono green, then it gives them something to deal with. If not, then there's a little bit of a race room. Potential removal spell here. Okay. Let's play this. Put a counter here. Okay. Four damage. Seems nice to start off with. They do not have a removal spell yet. Another land off the top is great because we can go light pause into one of these. Give it haste. Yeah, sounds sounds excellent, actually. Sounds absolutely excellent. They've got four mana. Not entirely sure what to play. Maybe Binding of the Old Gods. Jungen defends the temple. What does this mean? Well, one one counter on, I mean, put this here. Well, for one one counter on things, exile it. Things, things back, sure. Sure, I mean, that's good, right? Let's play this in. And what do we do here? Do we just... We just give this haste? Giving this haste seems a little... I mean, I can give... Sure, let's go this here. Which buffs it. I'm not sure what they might have for one mana, but I guess we'll see. So we get to draw a card as well. And let's take action. So the question is, do we just give them Rune of Speed or just this one, Rune of Might? Let's give it Rune of Might because then it comes with a good, decent blocker. Land there as well. Another land seems great. We attack in here. Because we've got a Rune of Speed next turn, right? So we can put the Rune of Speed on it. Oh, mind you, having said that, we put the Rune of Speed on this, right? So this is a 2-2, so we've got the blocks here. 5 mana. 6 mana. We can play anything they've got, right? We can play absolutely anything they've got. Miho Massacre, damn. Okay, Raph's the board there. That's going to be quite good. Bring this back to my hand. Love to see it. Ooh, Wandering Emperor. Let's go. Let's go. I think we play this down. Play this down. Give this a little bit of a... Oh, it's not the one I thought it was, actually. Not the one I thought it was. Let's give it here. I mean, this is perfectly fine for me, though. No qualms in the slightest. Attacking for four... It also removes their, um, also removes their kind of uh, ramp, right? Two-two flyer. As long as you control five or more modified creatures, so they can put the counter on it. Question is, are they going to attack with it though? Are you just going to go for three or four counters? The absolute animal if you do. No, you put nothing on. Chariot. Ha. Huh. Uh, sure. Like, can't... you got no counters. What do I do here? Do I attack him? With... I don't know. I don't know. Um... Go red. White. Green, green. Play this. Play this. Seems good. Nice. Play the Crucible. We'll play this and which will buff this even more, right? It's, a, it's an enchantment. Ha. Huh. I think I'm supposed to play this. And I think I just swing with both here as well. I think this is an excellent swing. It puts my opponent at bay a little bit. Next turn, we can play the Generous Visitor into the Runeforge Champion and just go off, perhaps? 
Like, my opponent's got to make some pretty decent blocks here, right? Or it's a substantial bit of tech that's gonna, gonna hit them. They do have the Miho Massacre. Okay, nice. So what's going on here? Wow, really? Wait, you take that? No way! They must have a second one, right? They must have a second one. Runeforge Champion, though, is not, not to be sniffed at, right? Land. Okay, Storm of the Festival. I mean, this has got to be great for them, because if not, we are going to be smashing through. And you know what? Having said that, uh, you reek with it's terror. not. It's not uh, that good. Exquisite. It's not that good because we're going to be. Hey, okay. create the creatures. And I, the generous one. No, 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 no. Here's some life here. We of my. Here we go. So, I'm gonna play the land down. I'm going to play this. And I'm going to put the trample on the... On, actually, no, we can do both here. We can do both here. Because this is lifelink as well, right? So let's get ourselves involved. Uh, search. Yeah. Let's search the graveyard for Rune of Sustenance. So we're going to play this for zero. Yep. Yep, all the counters here, please. Beautiful. Draw a card. Uh, play this down again. Uh, Rune of Sustenance here. Yep. Beautiful. Draw a card. Land. Mm. We just play this out. Because if we get any um, uh, counter here, counter here, they get the counters there. Because if we get any runes, we just play them for free, right? As daft as it sounds. Rune here. Uh, we should probably put these here. Draw me a card. Ah, oh, spoil spot. And yeah, let's just swing because because this is this is twenty two trample damage coming through, and you know eleven. I mean, that's not good for you, right? Because you're you're still taking eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, GGs. Actually, you get an extra one here. Didn't, I didn't count it. Anything that first strike? No. Looks like we're taking game one. Doesn't really matter how you're blocking. Hmm. Sure, sure. I mean, the rest is just fine. Let's go. Let's go. Bink. Oh, it's so good. 44 life as well. Let's go. <laughs> Um, right, so our opponent is on... You know, they're, they're playing some quite big stuff. They're playing some quite big stuff. Um, do we like here maybe playing down something like... That's not the Tamiyo's Keeper. The March is pretty good. I'm happy to take out maybe one of these. So we've got room for two more spells here. And what did they really have that posed problems? Um, b -b -b kind of... Like, rudely. Like, nothing really, you know? Nothing really kind of posed major problems for us. I don't mind playing every day, and it does stop them from doing some some kind of pretty nifty stuff, and maybe just a wedding announcement, just so we can keep up. Or do we like the Valor stance? Mm -mm -mm. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for a Ripper part. The reason being is that the Ripper part can deal with the Planeswalkers and... Uh, not the Planeswalkers, sorry. You can deal with the cat carriage, but also remove one of the blockers, which I just think is just, you know, pretty decent. Now, we don't have any mana to start us off except for this one, so I'm going to be in Mulliganing. And this is perfectly fine for me. We can pop one of the... Ooh, two runes here. Pop a Valorous Stance in the side, or do we... I mean, hopefully we're going to be picking one of these up, right? So maybe we get the rune, this rune down. Ha. Huh. 
Actually, this... Well, how do we... Where's the white mana coming from? Oh, we can't do it on turn one. Damn. Mm, 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 mm. So it's going to be this, I think. Sure. Sure. I mean, if we draw a white mana, we're, we're all Gucci, but... <clears throat> But yeah, so like we've got two things at the minute where I can't really be trusted to um, play down the play down this as as green just yet. I mean that's just great for us. That's just really really strong. We're gonna play this in. I'll probably gonna have a removal spell for it, but that's fine. Okay, no, they're ramping. They're ramping. We play. Oh, no mana. You kidding me? You sure? They might have another one of these. A fight spell? Power wave kill? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, in which case then, let's get... What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I mean, I could start the ball rolling with this. It just feels quite weak. So let's play this down. Let's play this down. And then next turn, we can do something like... Restoration could be fine, but maybe it's just a rune of speeds to get to get the ball rolling with other things. Chariot. Valorous stance is here. Ugh, this feels bad. This feels bad. Alright, let's play this down as a red. We're gonna go for mm -mm -mm. target creature. Put this here. Put the creature on here. Uh, yep. You know, draw. Well, basically, we're going to draw two cards off this, right? So we put this through. Give them the Rune of Might. Makes into a 5-4. And we have this as well. Interesting. <clears throat> interesting, interesting, interesting. So what am I doing here? Am I just waiting for them to crew? Am I attacking in? I mean, it's... I shouldn't really, should I? You know what I mean? It's like, it's just sloppy if I do, but I think, I think I'm going to hold back for now. Hold back for now. Keep open the Valorous Stance. It could be, it could be the completely, it could be the complete wrong play here. But I guess we'll see. We'll have, we have to, okay, Tapland is all right for us. We've still got a mana here. We're going to attack him with this. Destroy type creature power far greater. Wow. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. Moon Forest Champion. Or this. Probably this, right? Put this here. Start start um, spreading my counters elsewhere. Grab this mana. Play this in. Put this on here. Okay, so as you, as you can see, we're spreading the love here. Love to see it. We're going to say yes. We're going to grab ourselves a Rune of Sustenance and put it on here. Draw two. Love that. Just attack in here. Nine damage. Lifelink as well. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of in a good place here. Oppo's got six mana, though. Attacking for four is negligible. Got a Wanderer. Wanderer could be very, very powerful here, right? Just just giving a counter or something? Me on Massacre for four, damn. We've fallen for that trick again. I feel we have. I feel it's... Yeah, it's not good, is it? I mean, we do get to bring something back, silly. So we discard a card. Bring something back. What are we going to bring back? What are we going to bring back? Maybe the, maybe the Light Force. Light ports could be decent. But it doesn't last for very long, does it? So maybe we want something a little bit more sustainable, like the Visitor. Play this in. Uh, such a graveyard for now, I think. Let's get ourselves a Rune of Speed going. Hopefully we'll pick up a land by doing this. Put this on here as well. Into a 4 4. Oh, we get the land as well. It's just disgusting. Keep open the Valorous Stance. Like it. Pass. 
So if I poke and wrath the board again, like a land into Meat Hill Massacre, obviously that's a bit of a ball ache because we do lose these now, but we do get this saga uh, end of, well, start of our next turn, which is a 3 4. Now we don't have the Exile Type creature. Sure. Sure. Not, not, not too impressed with that. Pass. My turn. Ooh, speed. Nice. Oh wait, this is beautiful. Oh, this is really, really good. I didn't, I didn't anticipate this in the slightest. A little bit of a uh, what's going on here. I've, I've experienced that the last few days. Have any of you guys? Like when you've been, I might, it might just be me. It, it could just well be me actually. I'm going to try and protect this from the Meat Hill Massacre. Draw a card. Runeforge champion again. Ah, oh dear, dear, dear. What do we do? Play this in. Oh, I shouldn't have tapped the red, should I? Tapping the red was bad there. Search your graveyard. Gonna go Rune of Sustenance here, I think. Put this counter here. Draw another card. Could have been a punt, but I mean, this should get us back into the game. So yeah, so so the, the mistake there was not allowing this to have an attack, which probably would have been lethal, right? So that was a punt. I, I mistapped my mana because this doesn't anticipate what you could get out of the graveyard, but GG's nonetheless. Showdown of the Scouts though. We didn't even have to play it in that second game. Down to 316. Okay, Dark Angel. So it's on 86%, but you know, they do a comeback. Now, no green mana here. I think we're supposed to mulligan. I mean, although this is a perfect hand, but we are in the play, so yeah. Okay, this is fine by me. We probably get rid of the, uh, the Valorous Stance. This allows us a one drop, a two drop, and then on our way to the showdown. Beautiful, let's go. <clears throat> so do we want white mana or red? We get the red here, right? So this has probably got to be white. So let's go green visitor. White transients. White transients. Red into restoration. Gets us our next white for the showdown. Seems good. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I can just do that. But no, I need to play the red down here, right? Play this in. Buffs both creatures. Uh, what do I want to play around? Play around the meat hook, but two, three, two. Should probably put this here. Nice. Two damage secured. And when don't we get this back into our hand, like the end of our turn? Like, is that what that card reads? Oh no. At the at the beginning of each end step, if an enchantment card, oh, it's, an encha it's got to be an enchantment card. This card, this card a card and bring a card back. So, I mean, we probably discard this, bring it back, play the white mana. Because this, you know, I mean, I, I, I like the ramp here. Screw it. I like the ramp. Uh, let's play this down. What's the counter here? Draws us loads of cards. Like so many cards. Attack in with this. Let's go. And then next turn, we've got double white, so we can play... Oh, thank you very much for my... Uh, thank you very much for the old card here. Nice. Love that. Love, love, just love to see it. So we can play this in. Um, so I'm going to... Do we eat this? We're probably supposed to eat this, right? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
Uh, right, so we don't actually know what they are. They could be, I mean, with them having... It's, it's weird to see the slaughter specialist, I must admit. So what could that be? What could the slaughter specialist be? Like zombies? Are they playing zombies? Something silly like that? Wandering Emperor? Or do we just do we just win? Like is, is it is it like a cool you've got that, but but look where we are. It could well be. Hallowed Haunting gives us flight, which could be good against zombies. Have they do do we care about the Yoshan here? They could be playing sacrifice spells. Is he Yoshan any good against them? I mean it could be, right? I don't I honestly don't know. Maybe we'll take out one of these and stick a Yosh on in just to kind of see what's going on. Like, we, we could have it as protection, but then it's something that we might not need. But our opponents, you assume, with them being on the play as well this time, they are going to get a much better draw. So we'll see where that kind of takes them. And then fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it could be good for us. Uh, I mean, a turn two naturalist into a turn three restoration is just... Oh, actually, it was turn three showdown, but it could be a bit... Could be a bit weird playing this on turn three, I must admit. All right, let's get the uh let's get this down first. We go for the naturalist. Painter? Hmm. I think we may have messed up here. Let's get the you down. Let's get you down. But then we're gonna go for a Are they gonna play that the dragon here? Is it gonna be the dragon? I honestly thought it was zombies. Did the swamp? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Um, white mana. Do I like this? Do this for white. Play down the visitor. Play down the visitor. Can't kill this, right? Pass. Maybe it should have been the restoration. Oh, wait, in that in that case, it should have been the lair, because I, in my mind, I could have played this, but I can't. Unless I want to take the treasure with it, but it seems a little bit reckless. They had mana anyway. Oh, go on, activate the den the bugbear. Go on. Activate the den the bugbear, please, just one time. Do it, do, do it for me. I wonder. Do I like the Wanderer in here? Let's get a Wanderer in. Pass. Valky? Ugh. What is Val Valky doesn't take anything. Oh, go on. You, you, go on, activate it. You know you want to. Go on. Don't be a coward, Oppo. You've got this. Big, strong, big, strong, strapping Oppo. Just play this in. I am the Emperor of Kamigawa, and I will protect my people. I could have um, put a, uh, a blocker in there, but we know that they're running removal, you know? So, like, the blocker could have just died. Miho Massacre for one, sure. Oh. I'm making a roast pork dinner. So that means the potatoes need to go in. I mean, what do you do? The, the, game's, the game's important, chat. The game is important. So. I'm going to play down... Play down the Hydra. And I'm going to put a counter here and we'll pass. Summit nothing. Let's go. Strike fast and strike hard. Still a little bit worried about this den of the bugbear. Needn't be. Pay zero. Confirm. Love that. Pass. My turn. Let's go. Right. Um, let's go for the... Uh, let's go for the showdown of the scouts. Wow, really? Green mana. It's minus one.
Mind this one for the samurai? Let's go. God, to me. I mean, if they've got another Miho Masker, it's great. If if they were, try to activate the high with the eye tyrant, not so good. I mean, we're gonna go for the showdown of skulls next turn. Maybe I keep hope with the Tamiyo selection, but it doesn't get around the Miho Masker, does it? You know? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, they're attacking with this? They haven't got enough mana to. No, really? Land, say go. They've got to have another land, right? One, they haven't got another land. Okay. Let's go for the showdown. Just put all, just put in all the counters here, you know? It's like just... Drawing whatever we can. Any more lands come in. Put this down. Let's throw out a... Uh, let's throw out the old Runeforge Championi. Eh? Gonna get ourselves... Uh, I don't think I've got any in the graveyard, have I? No. So we're gonna go and get ourselves from, something from the library. Um, and I actually like from the library, giving the rune of... Mm, sustenance, I think. I think it's supposed to be sustenance. We're going to uptick this. I'm trying to get it out of Meat Home Mask range. Like, if I has got a removal spell for it, fair enough, you know, but... We need to start keeping up with the time of safekeeping for when they hit the Valky. This has just been really, really good, these two back-to-back. -back. Reckless Stormseeker, sure. I mean, I protect the Valky here, right? Oh, I don't. I don't get a chance to. We uh, not the not the Valky, the uh, Wandering. But interestingly, now they've just given up another land. They're never going to cast it. We lose the Wanderer. Fine. Back to Wandering. It's just so good, though. It's just so good. Okay, we're going to play you in. And this is just GGs here, right? This is just GGs, and it's it's going to be a masterclass of how to play this deck. Play this land down. We're gonna go for the rune of sustenance on here. On here. Oh, Apo, don't scoop. Don't scoop. I'm showboating. Let's go. Two, five, seven on the ladder. Let's go. Okay, so the third game in our list. I've just um, been in the store and see that there's a full art um, Kami. Is it Kami? Kami of uh, Transient. So we've, we've, we've got that and we've added that into the deck. You know, just, just fine tuning the list by full art cards. Green, white. Beautiful. Yeah, this this looks gas. I mean, obviously we need enchantments, but you know, you, I mean, you can't you can't ask for everything. Let's get this down. Play out the green card. Beautiful. We're gonna go white mana into the naturalist, which adds a counter onto this, by the way. And we attack in. We are also facing an opponent who I think will be playing the same deck as us. We've obviously got there a little bit faster than they have. We'll swing in. We'll keep open the safekeeping. We might even have to go for the Crucible at some point. We need a enchantment off the top and we get it. Look at that. Let's go. Um, put this here. Our opponent isn't going to... Ooh, wow. That's going to be a huge hit next turn. Absolute godsend. Can I play everything? Oh, no, I can't play everything. Damn. Huh. We're going to have to go Rune of Sustenance to see if we can join to a, um, a green land. And then if we can't, we're probably in a little bit of trouble, right? So we can play two out. The Weaver of Harmony, an excellent card. Circle of Confinement, damn. What are you going to hear? Naturalist to uh, make my things less less effective, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Take it for three there. Nah. Okay, let's go for a... Uh, uh, uh. Let's go for a Rune of Sustenance here. All the counters, all the counters. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Draw a card. Oh, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Right, we're going to play you in. Hmm. Or am I supposed to play this in? Or am I supposed to... Oh, I can't keep that open anyway. It'd just be a waste. And they'll telegraph it as well, right? So we might as well just hit him for quite a lot here. Yeah, the circle of confinement there. Just excellent card for them. Ah, there's, there's the green mana we wanted. Take him down to nine. They did miss a land drop though, so is that gonna be is that gonna be ultimately detrimental? Let's see. They can play things cheaper, they can copy it as well, but if they do copy it, it ends up tapping this. So they do need to be they do need to almost protect themselves slightly. So the crucible, we can make the one ones, which is good. Tamio safekeeping as well. Doesn't add the counters where I need them to be. 
Nothing in the graveyard just yet. So many, so many options here. Damn, this card. Good job I didn't have this open, of course. They need to find a way to kill this. If they've got it, it's GG's. You know, they they're, they're just they're just too good for us. Could do with playing a card out, even if it's not the best, just so I can uh, get the buff off of this. Surprised they've. Uh, let's see. Second Weaver. Buffs everything else. Target. Nice. They do this. In response, they tap this. Yeah, that's pretty gas. 914 damage. X. Sure. Oh. It's not good for us. It's not good for your hero here. You're going to hit me with another 14 damage? Damn. Is it going to be too much for me? Do I like, actually need to attack in? Play this, get a thing. I mean, I could play these down as blockers. Sucks. Just all not very good. I haven't actually got a card to bring back, have I? Huh. Okay. Land. We do this for 14 and one not, one not. I mean, look, it's, it's very good, right? It's, it's very, very good. Just go up to. Go on. You know you want to do it. Are they doing the maths? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, they can triple it. <gasps> no. Wait, you didn't double it? Are you okay? How strange. Have another circle of confinement, perhaps? Huh. Oppo? What a game this is. What a mirror. Well, it's not really a mirror, because I don't think they're... I think they're playing the version that's not... Who's going to attack me with this? I'm equally as confused. Did you did you forget to tap? My turn. You're kidding me, aren't you? Uh, white mana. I think I've just got to attack here, right? I've got to attack, try and take them down. Apparently not. That suggests that they've got another one of these. Damn. It suggests they've got another one of these. So they can... Uh, what are they going to do? It's an 8-8. Eight eight. Wow. Nice. Nice. Wedding announcement is good. Uh, sure. Wait, th is this going to be enough for them to all fly and stuff? Damn. <laughs> sure. No damage. Seems good to me. Yikes. Uh, create the 1-1. One -one. My turn. Come on, I need something, gas. This one. This comes back in. Have I played a land yet this turn? Put this on here.
Play this home. Play down the enchantment. I mean, I've just got to put everything on here, right? So it's like for planes. I didn't have the planes. Got to attack, sadly. Sadly got to attack. 12 damage. And I think it's going to be GG's the turn after. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. No, what a shame. I mean, we've done... We just didn't draw. We just didn't draw into any of our runes, which is, um, you know, like the Ruin Master and whatnot. We'll, uh, we'll sideboard into destroy enchantments. We've got better enchantment removal than they have. So if we go up to 31, my opponent's got... Nine. Yeah, are they are they, are they just done the maths? Are they are they Gucci? I assume they are. We've got the safekeeping of interest. The safekeeping could get us an extra two damage. Can you guys hear the rain outside? It's awful. I apologize. Interesting. Are you what are you tapping for here? That is really bad. Really, really bad. Um, right, so I've got nothing to discard, nothing to get rid of. Dog draws. Do they tap in response? They do. They forgo winning the game to tap there. Did they have the win? Uh, 10. So what's this? This is 12, 12, 22, 22 plus 6, that's 18, uh, 28, they had 29. Okay, so they didn't have, they didn't have lethal there, they had 29, so... Yeah, I kind of guess drawing and drawing is fine. Are they going to copy it? No, they're not. Interesting. That would have been gas if they'd have just swung all and we'd have just been able to safe keeping, keep this alive, or, or it, w it would have stayed alive anyway, but you know what I mean. Pass to attacks. Uh, four, five, six, seven, 17, 18. Is this 30? Wait, how did they do this? This 30? I need to double check. So, uh, 12, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30. Stay alive, I won. Okay. Okay, boss. Can we please just go off now? Oh no, dear lord, this card's so good. This card is just too good, right? Draw, draw, draw two cards here. I'm thinking of putting Katilda in this list. What do you guys think? How do how do I win this now? Do I just have to go off? Like, do I have to actually just... This is a good way to start going off, I guess. Discard the card. Let's decline. Let's get this back up. Let's go for a showdown. Need to put all the counters here, right? March, Emperor. Wait, do we just win? Does this have flying? It does have flying, doesn't it? Damn. Wait, can I just... It's from my hand, right? <clears throat> if I take this away... If I take this away, what happens? Like, everything loses flying. Or do they still get it? For as one as you have creatures, white spirit token with this creature is... Thinking, how do I win this? Because I know that you guys will tell me how to win it afterwards, and it's going to absolutely destroy me. <laughs> uh... Right, what does this have to hit here? Does it have to hit? Oh, it, it can't hit that. Ah, interesting. Okay. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's take the Katilda. Um, do I just attack him with this and this? Four, five. One, two, three. Oh, I think I punted, right? What's this? This is a two. I can take this down. One, two. 
No vigilance. Let's see how they block. Do I just attack in here? This creates a 1-1. One, one. Oh, I, need, I need it alive, don't I? Let's attack him with this. View battlefield. Uh, can I not just get rid of the eleven eleven? Like, is this just not possible? Like two? Let's go. Let's go. I lose the indestructible. Hmm. Second hallowed. Spirited companion. Six, six, six. Sure. I mean, if they, they can't attack in here, right? They can't attack in here, I don't think. Wanderer? Never spirited companion? Damn. How many do they have? What's the uh, what's the going rate here for, uh, think, for things that are good that can kill me? <laughs> what's the going rate? Wedding announcement? Damn. <laughs> it's like... Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I've got blocks. We're fine. We're fine. No, 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 no qualms here. Indestructible, maybe. Four, four, four. I mean, I just attack in straight with this. Give it indestructible and see where we go. Right. Because my opponent just wins, I think. Sadly. But we might we might get away with it. We might get away with it. You, you should just pile all of your things in front of this, right? I, I mean, you, you know, there's, there's a way we can go OTT. What are we doing here? Go on here. More life. More life or blockers for these. I'm not overconfident. Don't mind. Just underwhelming. Is that a creature? We must protect the people. Okay, right. We've got no more tricks up our sleeves now. This this is this is just us. This is just us. Our opponent with two Hallowed Hauntings. All they need to do is kill our Hallowed Haunting and we are GG's. Naturalist, sure. They're just going to make the doubles. <sighs> Disgusting. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Damn. I mean, do they... Do you just start swinging here? Because it's, it's a fair whack, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a fair whack. Oh dear, ass. Because if not, actually, we... One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, it's not really... I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd probably be just swinging full in here. My turn. Let's see what we've got, they say.
get this in here. Try and catch up. Just with the just with the lives. Um play this down. Create the old vigilance. <clears throat> Pass. To me. I mean, I can't. Ca I don't can catch up with them. I mean, they've they've got the the second haunting. It's a great game of magic. It's probably been the most challenging one we've played so far. Like the question remains: like at this stage, it's difficult for them to attack in now. I feel. Well, they're gonna do it anyway. Never mind. Back all in there. Um, I mean. Have they got blocked? Wait, did I block wrong? Oh wow, what a, what an absolute punt there! Oops, no way did I just punt wrong there. Oh wow. Um, yeah, sure. That could be that could be the game changer there, as daft as it sounds. That could be the game changer. Huh. Yeah. Wow. Not ideal in the slightest. Runeforce champion, though. Here we go. Let's go. We've got three cards up? Damn. Damn, that's fancy. Search your library. And um, let's go for the uh, let's go for the life gainy one, right? Could have removal for it. Looks like they may have removal for this haunting. GGs. A spirit. <clears throat> hmm. Pass. Because now I'm putting a counter on things. Yeah, it's not good. I, I I punted so bad there. And they should be minus one creature as well. Wait, they're getting rid of that instead of this. Are you? Are you? I don't, are they? They must have a second one. They they they, they literally must have a second one. There's there's no. There's no way that makes any sense in the slightest, right? They must have a second one. It's a game a game of two punts. 25-25 Vigilance Life Linker. Sure. Uh yep. Narrator. They did. Exile up to one target artifact. I mean this is an enchantment. Taking that from me, which is fine, you know. Ah, GG's. Yeah, GG's. I'm, I'm, I'm going to scoop it. We're going to go to the next one. It takes away three of our things, which is just too much, right? Because we can barely... It's going to be the ones with the, uh, you know, it's going to be the ones with uh, the lifelink on anyway. So let's go for the borrowed time. Let's go for the rip apart. Mm -mm. Well, there is a world where we put the second safekeeping in, but I really liked where we were. Like... <laughs> The Wanderer is just kind of weak here. It did it did keep us in it for a fair whack, but we just go maybe wedding announcements? Wedding announcement, wedding announcement. Maybe take this down a touch. Um the transient's probably transient go, go down to one, because we're not really doing exactly what it wants us to do. And maybe take away as daft as it sounds, maybe one visitor and run it back. 61 cards special, fingers crossed, let's go. Okay. Can we preserve our streak? Fingers crossed we can. We need a good opening hand. And this is... 
kind of it. Let's go. We are using our uh, bossy Jew. Early doors. Not ideal. But Oppo with a mulligan as well. As we know though, when you mulligan on the uh, on, when you mulligan on the plate, it's not as I mean on, on the on the draw, it's not as impactful, right? Death touch? Sure. Shame we didn't have that down earlier, but that's fine. We're gonna play the naturalist. Makes everything cheaper. It means that we can get a uh, turn three showdown of the scouts. Circle of confinement, you're kidding me. Sure. Okay then. Let's get naturalists. We're gonna go turn four showdown of the scouts. Sure. Sure. Mm, layers are interesting one. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play down the light pause. And then I'm gonna play down the layer. The reason being is it can it helps to kind of keep our mana in order, but it also makes our showdown slightly better. Like ever so slightly better. Hello? Rune of speeds. Nice. So let's have a look what we've got. Do we just want to do this? Do we want to do this or do we draw? Let's draw. Mm, what's more likely for us to have? Let's grab the land whatever comes off top of here. <clears throat> there will be a land here. Nice. We'll play down the the red mana. Or well, could do with the white more of the white mana, right? Oh mind you, we've got that. Uh, let's play this down and let's say no attacks. Rune of speed into i mean we could ideally do with getting a second showdown of scouts done wow really that's sick one two three four five whenever you cast it we do the thing sure so let's get this down first beautiful beautiful we're going to equip the uh the flight which draws us a card we draw another card off of this valorous stance is excellent we're going to look for... Hmm. This is four mana, so we can't cast it. Do we just go for a showdown? Like a second showdown of the Scalds? I kind of like it. I kind of like doing it, yeah. Wow. So what do I like here? <clears throat> I could get rid of a circle of confinement, but I probably should be going for the haunting. land two spirits attacking for four sure do you have removal for this wedding announcement wedding announcement is an interesting one We probably have to play this. Counters on here. Now we could go for the. Um, we could go for. Really? Touch realm. Turn target to excel target artifact or creature. So let's go for a white mana here. So what if I was to go for. Now let's go for white mana. We're going to play down the rune here. Put the counters here. Here, here, here. Unless they've got a removal. If they've got a removal, I'll be so mad. So, so mad. Draw cards. X. Disgusting hit. Let's take a this. Attach it on. Draw two cards. Runeforge champion. Oh, there you are. Where were you when I wanted you, my friend? I mean, I could just cast this on here and it'll be nice. What's it doing? What's it targeting? Light. Basic. Green. Uh, pass. Oops.
Tight creature gains indestructible until the end of turn. Let's go. Ditch a red mana. Okay. Have they got a circle of confinement? Oh, no, you haven't. Oh, dear Lord, really? Oh, no. Of course they have. They always have. Can we do it? Can we can we win? Can we win? Let's try. Let's try to win here. Rune champion. Search your graveyard for Search your graveyard for the rune of flight. Wait, can I not cast it? Oh, I can. I was going to say, I got scared then for a second. Patch the... Patch this onto here. Whew. GG's. Wow. I got scared there for a second. Good job we, uh, good job we did uh, kill that. <laughs> they actually got themselves in trouble. Because <laughs> if they'd have kept their death torture alive, they may have actually they may have actually come to win that game. <laughs> Interesting how that works, right? Safekeeping seems great here. Safekeeping over something like I don't know, like a Runeforge champion or no. Safekeeping over a this just seems a bit slow to me. Safekeeping over over one. Over one wedding? The amount of times we keep getting hit, and it is it, it hits all permanents as well. Like I said, uh, uh, regardless of whether we win or win or lose this, it's been an excellent game of magic. Mm, I think we can actually keep this. Like we're on the draw, we've got a showdown and we've got a rip apart. You know, like and we've got this as well, so we can probably like pitch something, draw something else in, and kill this. I mean, it doesn't matter which one we do. Do three damage. Nice. Nice. Second Weaver. Land. Red mana. So, not the best here for us, if we're being honest. Uh, get this. Pitch one of these, bring it back. Showdown of the Scalds. Haunting. Get shit, bring it back, just ramp. Needles. Show down the scouts, or do we try to keep open the, the killer? Hmm. I wonder. Do this for red? Ass? Because then we can we get this next turn and we can hit the rune of speeds and, and all the runes on it, right? But like if we can just kill this now, that would just be gas, I think. Second haunting, sure. Looks like they're going for an attack. They didn't. Interesting. Interesting. Sure. No qualms then. Don't worry about it. Seems good. Give it haste. Love it. Runeforge champion. Um, I can't give it anything more. I can give it trample or lifelink. <gasps> no green mana. No green mana. In this case, do we get to get the Runeforge champion down then, I guess? Right, Runeforge champion. Gonna go and get ourselves a flight. Flight simulator 4000. So now this is beautiful, right? So we can use the showdown of the scalds. Grab ourselves another mana. Spirited companions, great. Creates the two twos or the, or the two one ones. I mean, this is my, where they might use the weaver, right? 
I'd probably be using the Weaver here, I think. So we need to get over the top of them now before they uh, before they can absolutely shaft us. Another Spirited Companion. Cool. Land. Do we just win by flight? Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Do I want to play the showdown or not? So what else is at the minute? This is like a one drop, right? Probably it is the showdown then. Tell me of safekeeping as well. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. And Rune of Sustenance. Counter here. Draw a card. Fifteen. I'll probably just keep open Tamiya, right? Nice. Pass. Pass. Keep open the safekeeping. <clears throat> Land. Naturalist. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I think they've got it. Damn. That's a shame. That's a shame. Six looks good for them. Yep. Seven. Sure. Sure. Damn. So close. They can just attack the roll here, right? 60, 40. Yep, draw two. Yeah, GG's. I mean, I didn't really have much of an option. 60, 50, they do 50 damage. Yeah, GG's, Oppo. I mean, it, uh, having the double Hallowed Haunting just works so well. I mean, we've not really benefited from it too much, I must admit. I'll play with a slow play here, just to show us they've got it. I mean, I kind of guess they're playing around. What are they playing around here? No idea what they're playing around, but yeah, they've got it. GG's. You've got to attack. Please say you're going to attack, because you, you've got, you've literally got like 70 damage. They're attacking all at once. Just, 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 yeah. GG's off. Frustrating. Frustrating, but what can you do? GG's. So there you have it, everyone. Sadly, I wasn't able to take home the 100% wins on the day. We got two really good games, but the last game was absolutely exceptional. Our opponent got there in the end with the two hallowed cards they were just making so many spirits and you know what if you're making two spirits four spirits a turn it really does hit home because they're just buffing each other anyway i'm very happy with the list and i will be running this in hollywood pizza's tournament this weekend so make sure to catch him out if you've not seen him before he's an excellent tournament organizer and i really do say get into his tournaments most of them are free and there's always cash prizes win-win Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and catch me on twitch.tv five days a week on the link down below. Leave a comment to let me know what you think of this list. Have you enjoyed it? I would love to hear back from you and stay safe. I'll catch you in the next video.